I consider the most important biopharmaceutical innovation of the past 20 years to be genetic modulators for cystic fibrosis. They have impacted a huge portion of the CF population, allowing better day-to-day -day, um, quality of living uh, experiences for people with CF, as well as better medical outcomes. It's just been really revolutionary to my community. And the modulator therapies have had a huge impact on my day-to-day -day life. Um, I have my lung capacity or lung function, which is a big indicator in the CF um, patient world, um, has gone from about 50% up to the mid 70s. So I've gained about a quarter of lung function back that I had lost over the past 20, 30 years. Um, the other thing that's been impactful is my sodium chloride level, my sweat test, which is a main indicator for um, diagnosing CF. I'm in the now indeterminate range. So if I was to be tested for CF just based on sweat alone, it would be very unsure if I had CF or not. They would definitely have to go for genetic testing. Um, so it's very exciting to have a lot of uh, function happening and knowing that my, my sweat is not as salty as it used to be. Also some things that I used to experience like CF related arthritis and CF related diabetes are also now put on a shelf. I don't have to deal with those day to day. And also I just sleep through the night. I don't cough at all anymore. And that's probably the biggest day to day experience. I don't cough at all. Um, and I sleep through the night, which is like, sounds small, but it's really huge. There are still people waiting for innovation. About 10% of the CF community does not qualify for the available modulators. So we need other innovations, um, either maybe new modulators or perhaps some gene editing like CRISPR could have a solution for people. Um, but we need um, more opportunities and options for those people.